What is the creepiest thing you've seen in the woods or any other creepy place? I'd been at football training with a few of my cousins when I was about 10 years old. We decided to take a walk before our parents picked us up. So we went along the canal towpath. My cousin looked down in the canal and say a really nice jacket floating along and being a weird scavenger person decided to reach in to fish it out. Well, the jacket turned over, and so did the man wearing it. He also had no face left. Not gonna lie, that was rough. This took place in the Australian bush around 10 stroke 11 at night. I was 17, leading a staggered column of about 60 cadets to our detachment campsite. Due to light discipline rules, only myself at the very front of the group and the other flight commander at the rear had torches on. This was so that any vehicles coming along the trail could see us and so that most of the cadets could maintain their night vision. We were camouflaged up and thus difficult to see at night. As we walked along I periodically looked to my sides, and kept seeing what looked like dewdrops on the ground. Almost like tiny blue gems glinting in my torchlight either side of the road I had to maintain my position in the formation. So I couldn't get a good look at what they were. However, after a while we stopped for a very brief break, and I took the opportunity to have a closer look. Walking over to the side of the trail I spotted a small cluster of the diamonds and focused my head torch on them. Rather than seeing diamonds or dewdrops or anything remotely pleasant, I instead saw a group of about 5 large spiders just crouching in the leaf litter and staring at me. They looked like huntsmen's which are about the size of an adult hand, sweeping my head around. I realized there were thousands of the things, all over the ground, some on the trunks of trees and everywhere around me, glaring at the light affixed to my head. I had a very brisk walk back to the formation and attempted to play it cool while screaming in my head. Being a massive arachnophobe, I have no fine clue how I managed to set up a tent and spend the next week in that cursed forest. Posted about this before, but back when I was a kid some friends and I came across people in robes chanting around a campfire out in the woods on the edge of the town we lived in. We were staying at a friend's house for a birthday party sleepover and went for a late night walk. This was back in the late 80s during the satanic panic. Looking back now, I'm sure it was just some teenagers goofing around. But at the time it scared the living bejesus out of us. One of the girls with us had a panic attack and started hyperventilating. Got pretty serious. But we finally managed to get her calmed down. Not sure how creepy this is. But I was on a week long camping trip with some friends and I woke up with a weasel sitting on my chest looking at me. I never knew I could scream that loud. I was boy scout, camping with my group of older buddies and an adult leader in Yellowstone. We had been backpacking for two days and stopped in a beautiful little clearing at the bottom of some huge tree covered hills. The sun started to set, we made a fire, and I began to climb up into the trees to dig a hole and fill it back up. You know what I mean. As I squat there, basking in moonlight and appreciating the glow of fire among the trees, I looked up to a ridgeline a few hundred yards away where the moon was rising, and I shoot not I saw a damn big cougar crest the hill and just watch our fire, it was likely no danger to me, but seeing that outline, that unmistakable shoulder crawl they do, was haunting. I watched it sit there for a good 15 minutes until I was called back by my worried butts, I pointed the cat out of them when I got done because it was still just watching us, crazy. My girlfriend and I were hiking along some abandoned railroad tracks and we get to a small bridge going over a little creek. I'm about to go explore under the bridge when she points something out. I look over and in the woods across from us I see a guy. I'm like whatever and keep headed down to the creek area and then the guy stands up and he's naked. We immediate backtrack pretty quickly to get away from there and once we're like one minute down the trail I look back and this naked dude is just standing in the middle of the trail watching us walk away. I cannot adequately explain how much this bothers me while also giving me about 100 different questions. Do you think he would have advanced on you if you hadn't moved? Did he look malicious or just plain insane? Man. Good thing there were two of you. Naked people out in the middle of the woods probably don't give a f about much. Just the fact that he followed us up to the trail as we were leaving made me think he might have advanced on us if we were closer. It was all around just bizarre. He mostly looked crazy. Had really disheveled hair and a large messy beard which just really brought the whole look together. Walking on the beach with my boyfriend and we had walked to a giant rocky cliff to Makiyot. Somebody was just gazing at the ocean. Crying and shaking. 
Mind you, this is late at night, like around 9.30pm. We asked him if he was okay. He apologized and practically ran back down the cliff, away from the dangerous areas. My boyfriend and I watched him until he reached the public area and decided to call it a night. I'm pretty sure he was going to jump. In order to get back home from a popular kebab restaurant I need to walk a short path through the woods. Along the way there is an extremely old abandoned partially collapsed chapel and occasionally I'll stand there for a few seconds admiring it. It's quite beautiful in its own way. One day during winter season I decided to rest there for a minute so I placed my kebab on the bench right next to the chapel and just stood there taking in the scenery. It was already rather dark and the woods were almost completely silent but right as I was about to continue my walk I heard footsteps rapidly getting louder. It was a child running towards me and as soon as it realized I was there it started to repeatedly scream run. He is coming or variations of that same sentiment. I was a bit perplexed by the situation so I watched the child run past me without moving an inch myself. It didn't take another second for a much more weighty pair of footsteps to appear. I could make out a silhouette in the distance which seemed to be their origin and at that exact point in time I got really scared. As opposed to running I decided to hide in the chapel next to the altar and after tripping over an old broken chapel bench I reached my hiding place. The footsteps got louder and louder but right as they approached the vicinity of the chapel they suddenly went silent. About 15 seconds of complete quietness had passed just for the words oh I, you fing idiot left your kebab on the bench to break the silence. Turns out it was a resident of the very same street I inhabit. His nephew was visiting and he wanted to race him to the kebab stand. I don't know whether this was the right place to post this. Ultimately this is more stupid than creepy. My friend and I were chilling in the woods one day back in high school and see a dog walking by, later followed by this kid. He looked troubled so we asked if he needed help. He obliged, telling us he was dog sitting for his friend and the dog got loose. So we spent a good hour following this dog and kid around, going deeper and deeper into the woods. Eventually I finally got the dog to come to me, but it wasn't wearing a collar so I wasn't able to get a hold. My friend and I look away for just few seconds to discuss strategy, and when we turn back around the boy and the dog are both gone. It was like they completely vanished. Keep in mind it was autumn so any footsteps could be heard from quite afar, but it was just silent. Not a single trace of them anywhere. Still don't really know what happened. Maybe they ran away real quick? Who knows? Was definitely enough to creep us out though. I was hiking in northern Quebec doing some exploration work for geologists. The thing about northern Quebec is that it has forests, mountains, hills, pretty much all green, black and grey, except that in the middle of a forest we hiked through, we found this strange or yellow patch of grass in a perfect circle, about the diameter of a medium-sized house. It was almost perfectly flat too. Caught us off guard. When I was about 7 or 8, my parents sent me to local summer camp that they would pick me up from in the afternoons. I never really liked it because the kids were mean. Everything was either broken or not clean. And the counselors obviously didn't care. I remember the girls changing room had a door that lead out to the woods but the doorknob was gone so it was unlocked all the time and you could see into it. This was primarily where the girls changed into their bathing suits and there was usually someone blocking the view while we changed so the boys couldn't look in. Well. One day I'm changing alone and someone wasn't blocking the door. I look over and see an eye peeping in through the hole watching me change. I pull the rest of my clothes back on quickly and run out to tell my twin brother. I tell my dad that I don't want to go back to that camp anymore and he begrudgingly takes us out of the camp pretty soon after because he knew how much we hated it. Years later, the camp has been closed down for many many years and I'm asking my dad about it. He gets really grim and tells me it shut down because a 13 year old boy had our red 7 year old girl in the woods right behind the girls bathroom a few weeks after I had told him about someone watching me change. This was quite a few years ago now, but me and my friend had this really cool spot to hang out, in the woods. You had to walk in the middle of a creek for a km and duck through sharp bushes and thistles. The hike was well rewarding though, the spot was about half an acre big. It was pure green grass on a incline with beautiful clear water ponds everywhere. There was tons of wildlife and the butterflies lived there. So there was always tons of butterflies. So the story begins on the way to this place. 
My friend Levi and I were walking along the river on the way to the spot. It was in the middle of a valley and nobody else ever went down there. Suddenly Levi stopped moving and ducked into a bush. I did the same because I thought there must have been a large animal somewhere. I saw him staring up the hill and so I looked up too. There was two people standing at the top of the hill heaving back and forth a lifeless body. We watched as they threw the lifeless corpse down the hill as it bounced off the trees and eventually got stuck on a tree at the bottom. Then they took off. Me and him were terrified and I was shaking so badly I couldn't speak. So we decided to verify it was a real body. Levi got about 4 feet away before screaming it has nostrils. It's real. Run. So of course we take off running. And I glance back to see the two people run back to the top of the hill. Me and him ran to kilometers through thick brush and trees to get away from them. The next day we were with his parents driving to town. And we saw like 10 fire trucks at the school closest to the forest. Terrified we told his parents. Bawling our eyes out worried that we were going to get murdered. His mom started laughing at us and said. They are training for search and rescue. That was a dummy that the fireman had to find. I never slept as good as I did that night.